Hello and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. Virtual digital asset staged a comeback in the last 24 hours led by Bitcoin. The top coin is nearing $67,000 levels as focus shifts to tech stocks earnings, which analysts believe to remain muted, hence prompting investors to buy other assets such as cryptocurrencies. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading down by 0.1% at 82,800 points. After undergoing a quadrennial halving event during the weekend, cutting the issuance of new supply in half, Bitcoin has rallied nearly 3%. The top token is expected to gain momentum post halving, similar to past three halvings when prices moved higher in about 50 to 100 days. Another interesting aspect that supports bullish outlook is funding rates, the cost of leverage derivatives traders need to pay for keeping their positions open. These rates have cooled off from very hot levels and even turned into deep negative territory for some smaller cryptocurrencies, making them ripe for a swift move higher if risk appetite returns. Interestingly, the first Bitcoin futures contracts listed on B3, the stock exchange in Brazil, witnessed significant interest from investors on debut day. Around 7,400 Bitcoin futures contracts were traded, with the instrument peaking at 111,000 orders on screen. Meanwhile, US spot Bitcoin ETFs experienced a five-day outflow streak on the day of the Bitcoin halving, with the 11 fund segment collectively bringing in $60 million of assets during Friday's trading hours. The Bitcoin halving occurred that night and US Bitcoin funds had seen $319 million of net outflows over five days. The global cryptocurrency market cap was at $2.43 trillion, mark increasing 0.5% in the last 24 hours. The total trading volume increased by 0.7% to $65 billion. In an interesting piece of news, Bitcoin Layer 2 solutions have outperformed Bitcoin since the mining reward halving. STX, the native token of Stacks, has risen nearly 20% to $2.87, making it one of the top 25 cryptocurrencies of the past 24 hours. Other Layer 2 coins like Elastos ELA token and Satoshi VM's SAVM have risen 11% and 5% respectively. Meanwhile, industry experts believe that the crypto miners will face tremendous cost increase as a result of halving, with electricity and Bitcoin production costs almost doubling. Hence, they may shift towards artificial intelligence in energy-secure locations following the Bitcoin halving due to the potential for higher revenue, CoinShares said in a report on Friday. Furthermore, Shiba Inu is developing a Layer 3 network using Zama homographic encryption technology, which has secured $73 million in funding. The network will launch a test version in quarter 3, 2024, ensuring community security and privacy. US stock futures traded higher after the S&P 500 snapped a six-day losing streak, buoyed by a rebound in tech stocks. Dow Jones Industrial Average Futures and S&P 500 Futures both rose 0.1%, while Nasdaq 100 Futures traded higher by 0.1%. Bitcoin was trading at $66,300, up 0.4%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was down by 1.4%, trading at $3,170. BNB was up by 0.3% to trade at $608. Solana SOL was up 0.7% and was trading at $155. Cardano's AD token was up by 2% to trade at $0.51. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.54, up by 2.8%. However, Avalanche AWAX was trading at $38, lower 2%. Polygon Matic was trading down by 0.7% to trade at $0.72. Doge the popular meme coin was trading down by 1.3% at $0.15. Shiba Inu was trading down by 1.5%. Polkadot was down by 0.7% to trade at $7.4. That's all in CoinMonitor for now. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share, and subscribe to 3.TV. And for more information stories, log on to our website www.3worldtv.io or scan the QR code. With 3.0 TV, stay connected with the world of blockchain. Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with 3.0 TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. 3.0 TV delivers the news that matters.
Toshiba Inu is developing a layer 3 network using Zama homographic encryption technology which has secured $73 million in funding. The network will launch a test version in quarter 3 2024 ensuring community security and privacy. The funding was secured through the TREAT token sale to venture investors. The blockchain is privacy focused and built on Shibarium, a layer 2 solution for Ethereum. Shiba Inu's lead developer, Shatoshi Kusama, declined to disclose the investor's complete list. Shiba Inu, a blockchain startup, has completed its fundraising efforts, which included both pre- and seed rounds. The team has received funding from various investors, including Polygon Venture, Mechanism Capital, Big Brain Holdings, Shima Capital, Inimoka Brands, Morningstar Ventures, Woodstock Fund, DWF Labs, Stake Capital, and Coma 3 Ventures. In August 2023, the team introduced the Shibarium Minute, a Layer 2 solution for Ethereum scaling. Shibarium, the Layer 2 network for the Shiba Inu platform, experienced a temporary outage affecting operations and user experience, causing a 160% surge in transaction count last week. Shibarium ecosystem developer Karl Dherer uh, confirmed that the outage was due to networking issues among validators responsible for confirming transactions and maintaining network integrity. The outage lasted a few hours and has now been resolved. However, some Shibarium related services such as external RPCs and Shibarium Scan have been experiencing downtime. Dhere has requested all external developers involved in Shibarium's infrastructure to contact him to streamline communication through shared channels on Telegram and Slack. Despite the outage, the Shiba Inu price has not faced much selling pressure, trading up 2.78% with its market cap crossing $16 billion. US spot Bitcoin ETFs experienced a five-day outflow streak on the day of the Bitcoin halving, with the 11 fund segment collectively bringing in $16 million of assets during Friday's trading hours. The Bitcoin halving occurred at around 8 p.m. ET that night and US Bitcoin funds had seen $319 million of net outflows over five days before Friday. Overall, US spot Bitcoin ETFs endured net outflows for the second straight week, amounting to $204 million from April 15th to April 19th. The Grayscale Bitcoin Trust ETF was the driver of last week's outflows, hemorrhaging $458 million. BlackRock's shares, IBIT, and the Fidelity Wise Origin Bitcoin Fund were unable to fully offset those GBTC asset losses, tallying net inflows last week of $165 million and $94 million respectively. Grayscale revealed a planned fee of 0.15% for its Grayscale Bitcoin Mini Trust, substantially lower than GBTC's fees of 1.5%. Trading volumes for crypto exchange traded products more broadly dipped to $18 billion last week, representing 28% of total Bitcoin volumes. BlackRock ended the week with an active daily net inflow streak of 69 days.